So I want to just talk quickly about how to check for revisions on a Word document. And this should work as well on an Excel and PowerPoint document as well. So I've opened up Word, and in this particular case, I've opened it in the online version. And this is kind of nice, actually. I know it's a little limiting in what you can do in the online version. But when you create it here, it's automatically going to link with your OneDrive. And so once that happens, when you open it in the online version, you can go up here to the title, and right over here it'll tell you when it was last saved or that it was recently saved. And then if you click this drop down, you get these options, which you can change the title if you'd like. You can see where it is, but then underneath that is a version history. And when you open that up, you'll be able to see if it was a collaborative document, who did what and when. And you can actually click on the document and see what that document looked like. So it's really nice. And actually, a student was worried because they were collaborating with another student and they lost some of the work. And they were really kind of upset because they knew it was a collaborative document. And the student was worried that uh, they wouldn't be able to get it back to where it was. So this is a really nice thing to show your students as well. And if you wanted to restore that version, you could or you can save the version that you're working on as a copy. So that's when you're in the online form. Now, if you're in the app version, so this is uh, a new document that I'm creating, you'll notice this is brand new. The thing you'll need to do in order to uh, look at the vision version history is go over here to this auto save. You have to enable that. And when you click on that button, it's gonna ask you where you want to save the document. In other words, it needs to be saved to the cloud. So I'll click this and I'll give it a name. Okay, and once that, once I've done that, now you can see that your document name is up here and the word save shows up. And again, the same thing happens if you click the drop down. You can change the title, you can see where it is, and then you can click the version history and you'll see uh, when you've done the modifications. So really nice tip and trick.